Now to a de developing story in St. Louis that the violence that spread across the city over the holiday weekend. At least 21 people have been shot and eight people have died since Friday morning. Some of those victims were as young as 17 years old and one was a former high school football star. This morning, the Downtown Engagement and Public Safety Initiative had its weekly meeting and five on your side's Mercedes McKay questioned safety leaders today. And so, Mercedes, what are police saying? Mike, police say they are just as frustrated as everybody else, actually. The numbers were already adding up over the long holiday weekend, and just this morning, two more shootings were added to that list. This is making law enforcement question if what they're doing is enough. It was a quiet afternoon in downtown St. Louis on Tuesday. But just that morning and over the long holiday weekend, it was a much different story. Unfortunately, eight people were killed since Friday morning and more than a dozen shootings across our city. St. Louis Public Safety Director Dan Isom addressed the violence in the Downtown Engagement and Public Safety Initiative meeting, describing the weekend as difficult for both downtown and across the entire city. The violence that we see in our streets, of course, is unacceptable. And it speaks to the ways guns are flooding our streets and taking the lives of our citizens. Isom says these hot months are always a challenging time and traditionally they see a spike over the 4th of July. But the last four days seem to catch officers off guard. Certainly up into this weekend, we felt that um, we were deploying people in the right places and at the right times. Um, but um, certainly this weekend was not what we expected. Unexpected events not only for officers, but also victims, friends and family. Specifically those who knew 25 year old Damien Baker, who lost his life early Sunday morning just south of Bush Stadium. That's Baker carrying CBC state championship trophy in 2014 when the team went undefeated. Baker went on to play college ball at Holy Cross. I don't put one life above the next, but especially when you're not out here doing anything to harm anyone and, and it just comes to you. Just this summer, St. Louis police officers moved to mandatory 12 hour shifts. But after the past days filled with tragedy, city leaders expressed there may be room for adjustments. We'll continue to look at what we're doing and try to improve. Now, in comparison to the past two years, homicide numbers are down across the city. We still have several unanswered questions, though, about the shooting that killed Damian Baker. Like, who's responsible and how the female victim who was with Baker is doing? Police told me today when I asked them, they have no new information at this time. Thank you, Mercedes.